Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. Previously, I offered a simple approach to identifying your core principles. And this uh, little talk is for viewers who are willing to take a bit more time in the service of developing a more comprehensive and nuanced set of what I call life pillars, as well as comparing your current life pillars with the ones that you, as excuse me, that you aspire to. That's what I get for eating dinner before I do this. Anyway, decide where you fall on each of the following continua or continuums. There's controversy about what's the right one. Um, and where you would like to fall, you know, where you fall currently and where you'd like to fall. And you might want to copy down each of these continua and put an X on your status quo and a Y on your desired place in that continuum. The first continuum is from hedonist to altruist. While it's not publicly extolled, many people foundationally try to get themselves as much pleasure as possible. And on the other end of the continuum are what I call the Mother Teresas. They're willing to endure much suffering in the service of being as altruistic as possible. Where does your behavior fall in that continuum? And where do you want to be? Hedonist on one end, altruist on the other. The next continuum is materialist, and on the other end, minimalist. Capitalism could not have survived this long unless many people craved the material, deeming its attainment worth even spending their life in a less than fulfilling career and taking on worrisome debt to pay for the materialistic lifestyle. So while it's easy to piously decry materialism, if so many people are willing to sacrifice so much for it, it can't be just dismissed. On the other end of this continuum, a small percentage of people, even some do it by choice, they live very simply in exchange for the freedom of pursuit that that brings, and or they do it for environmentalism reasons. Where are you on that continuum between materialist and minimalist? The next continuum is status seeker on one end, status indifferent on the other. Many people are motivated to achieve higher status, that is, careers and possessions that are widely venerated. That's one reason, for example, why many people choose to become an attorney, even though it's well known that most lawyers are unhappy. It's why many people buy a Mercedes rather than a Toyota, even though they cost much more, require more servicing, and break down more often. On the other end of the continuum, some people choose to forego status in favor of what they believe will yield a better ratio of pleasure to pain. How about you? Where on the continuum is your <coughs> status quo? And is that where you'd like to stay? Status seeker on one end, status indifferent on the other. The next continuum is self-critical on one end, self-accepting on the other. Being self-critical furthers growth and self-efficacy and the ability to make a difference. But it's hard to make the ongoing effort to keep growing. It's been said only partly in jest that the only person who actually embraces change is a wet baby. Especially as people get older, there's a tendency towards self-acceptance, even at the risk of growing stale. And that just may not be as foolish as it seems. The opportunity cost of striving for growth, that is, opportunity cost in discomfort, time, and perhaps money, may not be worth it. For example, if you accept yourself as is, you can focus your time on putting yourself in situations in which your extant self, your existing self, does well. Where on the continuum are you? And do you aspire to another place? Self-critical on one end, self-accepting on the other. The next continuum is collectivist on one end, individualist on the other. Collectivists believe that society is wiser to redistribute resources, to, you know, money and time and effort, to make outcomes for groups more equal than if decisions were based purely on individual merit. Collectivists also believe that people should more often work in teams than independently. Collectivists tend to believe that socialism yields more net good than does capitalism. Collectivists also tend to believe that government and nonprofits yield more net good than do companies. And individualists obviously believe the opposite. Where on that continuum are you? And would you like to be somewhere else on that continuum? That is, again, between collectivist and individualist. The next um, continuum is 
planner on one end versus spontaneous on the other. Even assiduous planners often find that the best laid plans can go awry. And too much focus on planning can distract a person from today's exhortation to live in the moment. Yet planners nonetheless believe that it's wiser to plan than to leave much to happenstance. <clears throat> live in the moment types hold the opposite view. But how about you? Now and in terms of where you'd like to be. Planner on one end of the continuum, spontaneous on the other. The next continuum is practical on one end, idealistic on the other. The practical person makes low-risk choices rather than betting on long-shot dreams. And in contrast, the idealistic person feels that life is better led by thinking big, even radically. So where are you? Practical on one end of the continuum, idealistic on the other. Where are you now? Where might you like to be? The next continuum is reflective on one end, impulsive on the other. Some of that's genetic, but not all. So even if a person is impulsive by nature, the person who values reflection tries to restrain that natural tendency. Venerators of the impulsive, in contrast, calculate, usually subconsciously, that impulsivity's increased speed outweighs the increased errors. Where do you stand? And is that where you want to stay? Reflective on one end, impulsive on the other. The next continuum is just versus mercy. Some people believe that justice is self-evidently correct. In contrast, merciful people tend to bend towards sympathy. Where are you on that continuum between just and merciful? And is that where you'd like to stay? The next continuum is work within the system on one end of the continuum and work outside the system on the other. Some people believe that whatever changes are needed are best accomplished from within the system. Others think that's too slow, for example, believing that revolutionary uprising is required. Where are you on that continuum, from working within the system to working outside the system? And is that where you'd like to stay? The next continuum is ethical on one end, pragmatic on the other. Some people believe, people believe that being ethical trumps self-interest and they often behave ethically even to their detriment. Other people believe that taking care of themselves and perhaps their family trumps ethics except for extreme violations. Just one example. Such people may feel okay about taking sick days when not sick. It's hard to be honest with yourself about this item, but try. Where do you stand on the continuum between ethical and pragmatic? And is that where you want to stay? And the final continuum is religious or spiritual on one end of the continuum and secular on the other. Some people believe their ultimate obligation is to serve God. Other equally good people are driven primarily by what's commonly called secular humanism, which they, what they personally believe is wise. Where are you on that continuum between religious or spiritual on one end, secular on the other? Uh, do you want to be, where are you now? And is this where you want to stay? And now finally, imagine you're on your deathbed and you're reflecting on where you have been in your life on those continua, those 12 continua that I've discussed. Does that make you feel good or make you want to change something about how you're living? In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and if needed a thumbs down. Of course, I look forward to your comments. I love it when you hit the share button below and share on your social media so that my efforts have broader impact. And I also, of course, like it if you, and I'm flattered if you would subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.